Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of G1 Transformers D71 Scourge. Let's look at the box. Here we go, D71 Scourge. I know it's a little yellow, but hey, it's old. That's Takata. Don't know what that <laughs> thing is. Before it was Takata, it told me it's a UFO. Imagine that. There's a transformation. See if I can do it on the first try because it's been a while. I know G1's a little difficult, but this one actually has pretty decent uh, articulation in it for... The sweeps is pretty good. There's a 1985 uh, truncated because remember this is um, not Scorpionock, is it? I forgot. The uh, Metroplex, I forgot that one. The freaking dinosaur, Trypticon, Predacon. So it's 1986. This is Series 3. So they're moving on up. Tech Specs and Bio. Gotta read Japanese for that. 4200 Dang, I paid 50 bucks for that. There it is from the bottom. Let's move, move it. Yeah, it's kind of pricey. But G1, what do you expect? Doesn't come with much. Hoping it had a tech spec, so that's alright. Jeez, this thing is in there. I'm going to break the dang styrofoam. <laughs> yeah, doesn't come with what much. So it's 100% complete. <laughs> yeah, that's it. This is good old Scourge. It, what was that vehicle back in Star Wars? Because that's what it reminds me of, that skiff. I mean, for what it is, it's looking pretty good. It covers up the face really well. Nice Decepticon symbol, huge Decepticon symbol here. This is supposed to be blue, but it's a little yellowed out. So very teal, baby blue, gap issues, mostly for transformation. So not bad, not bad for what it is. It rolls. I don't know if it's supposed to roll, but it does. It's not that bad for what it is. Uh, Cybertron plane, skiff. I mean, where would the dude sit? <laughs> you know, there you go. If you want to see it, Takara 1986, made in Taiwan, so they stopped making them Japan. Bastards. <laughs> it is what it is. Eight, yeah, eight out of ten. It looks good. It is really looking good. The panels are smooth, a good, decent molding. Could use a little bit more molding, but it's good. Eight out of ten. Transformation, see if I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought this thing pulled up, and that's pretty much it. So that's going to be the dude's feet. So let's go ahead, if I remember that, pull the feet out, rotate. And then we're going to just pull the arms out, and these become the wings, and it's kind of neat. And there's a rub symbol, and if you can tell, the dude is a Decepticon. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, flip this back. Oops, should have done that first. Flip the head back and the chest piece would rotate. And I love this little whatever the heck that is on his head. <laughs> the head is menacing, man. I wish he would have put more paint apps because, yeah. And I don't know what it is about Series 3 or Wave 3, uh, Season 3. But people had freaking mustaches and freaking beards. And I don't know what the deal was with that. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, after you rotate the legs, pop them down like that. Put the ankle that and oops rotate it back sorry there we go so yeah and you know you, you saw my sentiment on Rodimus how freaking horrible he was this dude's pretty cool uh, I mean for what he is he's like the best I've seen for a deluxe class he puts Rodimus to shame has a doesn't have a swivel joint but a nice little ratchet joint on the shoulder so single jointed and I wish I had the dude's cannon or whatever the heck he has I, I don't that didn't come with it but yeah that come it does come with a cannon let's see if I can show you in the picture so I don't have that so it isn't a hundred percent complete oh well uh, it has a thigh swivel so that's pretty good for what it is the knee bends backwards a little bit kind of disjointed uh, it's not supposed to be the knee is out of proportion as you can see it's way the heck over here up in the thigh it has a the pivot over here on the ankle it's kind of hard to stand up but you know no waist swivel but it does have that little weird thigh swivel head does move up and down in a great amount of detail uh, that's my favorite part of it uh, it doesn't have a lot of the stickers but hey it is what it is there it goes it's a pretty tall little figure let me show you compared to a deluxe so yeah he's tall he's pushing voyager size so yeah i venture to say he's like six and a half inches so he's pushing voyager size pretty tall all right that's all I got, YouTubers. Let me give him an 8 out of 10 on the robot mode because he's looking a lot better than a silly third generation, or sorry, third season 
deluxes, man. He's looking good. That's all I got, and I catch y'all next time.